Hi, this is Leslie Langnall with Design World Magazine. I'm here at the Rapid Show, and I'm here with Stephen Nigro, who is president of 3D printing at, for Hewlett Packard. And tell me, Stephen, there's a lot of emphasis on manufacturing at this show, more than at any other time that I've ever seen. Uh -huh. What is your interpretation of this? Well, uh, my interpretation <laughs> is that's where the future is going. Uh, okay. You know, 3D been around, you've been around the industry for a while, yeah. but the 3D has been around since the 1990s. It was a prototyping technology and it still is used for prototyping. But the real market opportunity when we look at it is production or manufacturing. And so for us, that's the future and that's what we're really innovating with Multi-Jet Fusion. Now how do you address the question of some people going, is it going to replace CNC and injection molding? There's six things that have to happen for it really to take off in the industry. Number one, the machines. The machines have to be able to perform like a CNC or an injection molding machine. So consistency, uptime, reliability, process robustness. Okay. Second, materials. I mean, materials that go into those, those devices are low cost. Right. The materials that have to go into 3D printing eventually need to get low cost, and that's something we're driving. The third is the number of materials. So think about it. when you're uh, looking at molding, there's thousands of materials. And so what we did is we introduced the open material platform so others could build materials on top of the HP platform, and that will allow us to expand the number of materials available. So those are the first three things. We also see key is changing how people design, design for additive, creating something that you can't CNC machine or you can't mold it. Um, ultimately, you're going to see new supply chains come out. People will start shipping electrons around the world and, and distribute and their manufacturing. And then we're going to have to pay attention to uh, regulations and standards. So those are the six factors, but there's no doubt great products, low cost materials, lots of materials. Now speaking of distributed manufacturing, I'm seeing a huge trend here about connecting to the cloud, networking multiple systems together. Is this a direction HP is looking into? Um, most definitely. I mean, we're, I, I think there's a couple things in there, a couple trends. Number one, the cloud, of course, is, is big. And so for, in our case, our devices are definitely connected. Um, but what, the fact that it's, it's connected is, is certainly just a start. The real question is, what do you do? What do you do with data? So as you get more data, you're able to, to manage more intelligently. And ultimately, you're going to be able to create new business models. So I think as you see more of these connected devices, you'll see everything as a service. So there'll be data services, part services. So I think that's at the, at the long term is what really is going to happen and why this is another big trend. How about HP? Are you going to be getting into more of the service business? for having machines or producing parts for an, an engineering uh, audience? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, our go-to-market channel is very clear. We're, we're channel-centric, right? so we're working with the channel and we're selling our devices to part service providers. So, for us, we want others to sell our devices and we want others to be able to use the devices to make parts. So now we are not in the parts business. Now we produce parts for benchmarking and customers when they come to us and they want to see what's possible, but that's not our business. Okay, so what is your impression of the show so far? Well, this is my second Rapid. So I was there last year. Last year we announced our product and we used Rapid to announce our product. And uh, this year really the message is like, we're ready to scale the business. So, and we've made a lot of progress on that. My impression is it's growing. I, I remember uh, going to uh, my first 3D shows and I came from the printing industry. I'm used to really big shows. And I went to the first 3D show and it was like, it's actually not that big. Um, but what I see is they're growing. And the kind of the sophistication's growing too. So I think it's really cool and I think it's really nice to be part of something that's expanding so rapidly because that's a great place to be. So for engineers who want to find out more about what HP is offering, where can they go find the information? Well, anybody who wants to buy, engineers <laughs> and others, they can go to hp.com backslash go backslash 3D print. Thank you. Thank you so much, You're Stephen. Welcome. Appreciate it. And there you have it for Hewlett Packard here at the Rapid Show in Pittsburgh.